All right, Hads, winter is over, huh? Yeah. And what season is it now? Spring. Yes, it's spring, and we're totally excited, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to fold today? A tulip. All right, little girl, what do we <laughs> All right, little girl, what do we have in front of us? Origami paper. Yes, we have the coolest origami paper, don't we? Yeah. And what's so special about origami paper? Um they're square and they have neat colors. Yes, they're square and they have really cool colors. And on this side it's white, huh? Yeah. Yes, and we have two sheets, a pink one and a green one because we're going to do the flower and the stem. And you're going to help me, right? Yeah. Yes, this one's a little bit more tricky for, for young artists, huh? Yeah. But it's a really fun art activity to do together, huh? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do it as a team, right? Yes. Yes, and the most important thing is? Having fun. Yes, have fun. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, okay, we're going to put the green paper off to the side first, and we're just going to work with the pink, okay? Okay. All right, first step, we're going to fold it, we're going to flip it over, and then we're going to fold this corner up to the top, and here we go. I'm going to crease it. Yes, I need your help creasing it. So when I get the corner held down, and we're going to crease it. Good job, Hadge. That was perfect. Then we're going to open it up, and we're going to do the same over here. And if we ever go too fast in our lessons, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you can always pause the video. All right, Hads, start down the middle and then work out to the edges. Good job. Okay, now we're going to flip it over this way and we're going to fold it in half. So we did all of those folds with the pink on the outside, right? Now we're going to fold it so that the white is on the outside. We're going to fold it in half this way and get it lined up, fold it down the middle, and then work your way out to the edges. Yes, good job. All right, then we're going to open it up and we're going to fold it in half this way. Okay, you want to do it again? Yeah. All right, you're such a good folder. <laughs> you do so well at it. All right. Okay, next step, we're going to open up our, our paper and then we're going to flip it over this way. And see how this these corners kind of come up? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, huh? Because yeah. it's going to do the next fold almost all by itself. So then we take these corners and then we fold them down like that towards the middle. And then we can squash the top down so it makes a shape. What shape is that? A triangle. Yes, that's a perfect triangle, huh? And we can crease all these edges down. All right, next step. We're going to take this corner. We're going to take the top flap and we're gonna fold it towards the top, just like that. And then crease it down. All right, you wanna crease it? Good, then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna take this corner, fold it up towards the top, just like that. Hold the top with one finger and then crease the, yes, good job. Perfect, Hads. And then we're going to flip the whole thing over like this. And we got a triangle again, huh? Yeah. Now we're going to fold that cor this corner to the top just like we did on the other side. There we go. Oh, I folded that one, huh? <laughs> check to make sure I did a good job. You want to check? <laughs> check to make sure I did a good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, okay, now we're going to do this side. We're going to fold this corner up to the top, just like we did on the other side. Hold it down. Okay, and then you fold it, Hads. Good. Now what shape do we have? A diamond. Yes, we have a diamond or a square. Huh? Look, if we turn it that way, it's a square. All right, next step, we're going to fold these two edges up towards us, like that, okay? Then we're going to take the other side and fold those together also. So now it doesn't look, now it's nice and clean, huh? Yes. So this is the tricky part. We're gonna fold this edge towards the middle, but we're gonna go past the middle. And I'm gonna use this pencil to show our art friends. 
So here's the middle line, right? Yes. We're gonna go past that line. So we're not gonna fold, we're not gonna fold the edge to that middle line. We're gonna go past it and we're gonna fold, and we're gonna fold out to here to this line. Okay? You see that? So it's a little tricky. You gotta imagine that line. I drew it on there so our art friends could see where we're gonna fold. But we're, our art friends at home can do that without a pencil. And we're gonna fold it past the center. All right? So now you wanna fold that, crease that down. Press it down nice and tight. There you go, good job, Mads. All right, okay, now the next step is we're gonna fold this edge over here past center also. So we're gonna fold it. I should draw another line. So now here's, here's where the center is. We went past it, right? So this side we're gonna fold past also right to there. So I hopefully our art friends can understand that. We're gonna do these steps again on the other side. But so we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it past center. There we go, like that. You wanna press down? Yeah. Hold on, there we go. All right, go ahead, crease it down. Good, you did a perfect job. All right, before we do the other side, we're gonna do one more step, okay? So if we unfold these and we can open these up, our art friends, hopefully you guys can see, hopefully you can see that there's a little pocket right here, huh? Yes. Yeah, that's a cute little pocket and we can stick this side into that pocket and then press it down. You see that? Yes. Tucked it in nicely into that pocket. Okay, we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So our, our friends, if you guys got stuck, watch the next side. We're gonna flip it over and you can see it one more time, okay? So here's center. Here's the center line. We're gonna fold this edge right here. We're gonna fold it past center line, okay? Here we go, we're gonna do it one more time. And this side, we can line up with the edge on the other side. So we don't want, we want it to look the same as the other side. So we want them to line up together right there. All right, okay, heads, you wanna press that down? Yeah. Good. Hey, and we're gonna do the same over here. We're gonna fold it past center. Just like the other side, so it matches the other side too. And we'll press that down. Can you press it down? Yeah. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna open up that pocket. So we'll open these two, these two flaps up and there'll be a little pocket right here. We can open that up and we'll put our fingernail in there. There we go. Kind of have to work with it to make it happen. So here we go, we're gonna tuck that tab right into that little pocket. So this is the tricky part that our little art friends need help with, huh? Yes. All right, now we got it done. So here we go. So on this side, if we, we open up, open it up a little bit like this, you should be able to see a little hole right there on the, on the tip of our paper. You see that hole? Mm-hmm. We're gonna blow into it just like a balloon. That'd be cool? Yeah. Watch what happens when I blow into it. You shouldn't have to blow too hard. And there you go. What is that? Look. Pyramid. Yeah, it looks like a pyramid, huh? And so this is going to be the top of our flower, the top of the tulip. Now the next step is we're going to pull the petals out, okay? So you see these little, the little corners up here at the top, and I'll have you pull out the next one, okay? So we're going to take that little corner, just like that, we start rolling it out. Look at that. Does that look like a little petal? Uh-huh. Yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, can you do the next one? Yes. So I'll, I'll get the little corner started. There you go. And then you pull it down, okay? Okay. Keep going. Oops. Keep going. There you go. Pull. Pull. Good job. You did awesome, Hads. Look at that. And we can pull it a little further. And now let's do the next one. Okay, I'll start it and then you finish it. There we go. Okay, you finish it. Pull it the rest of the way. Keep going. Good job. That's awesome. Is that fun? Yeah. Okay, we got one more. We're going to pull this one down. 
this little pedal, pedal, pull this little pedal down. Okay, you pull that one the rest of the way right here. Yes, good job. Look at that. This is a cute little flower, huh? Yeah. Yes. Okay, should we do the stem? Yeah. All right, so we're going to start with our green paper this way, okay? Then we're going to fold it. We're going to take this corner and fold it up to the top. Just kind of like what we did on the flower, huh? Yes. Okay. We fold it down the middle and then out to the edges. Good job. Yes. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to open it up. And this is going to be a lot like an airplane, okay? So we're going to fold this edge to the middle. Here we go. Just like that. You want to finish it? Good. And then go out to the edge. Good job, heads. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on this side, except we're going to fold that edge to the middle. There we go. Good. Crease it down. Awesome. All right. Okay, now we're going to do the same on this edge. It looks right? like a big giant kite. It does look like an awesome kite, huh? Okay, now we're going to do this edge. We're going to fold it up to the middle, just like we did on the other side. Okay. Oh, I did that one, huh? You can crease that. Finish it. There's still a little more. Good. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Fold this edge up to the middle. Perfect. Good job, Hads. Now we're going to do it one more time. We're going to do this edge up to the middle. There we go. Okay, you want to finish it? Yeah. Good. Okay, now we're going to take this edge and we're going to fold it to the center too. Okay, so I'll flip it around so it's a little easier. We'll line that up right with the center. Okay, and then fold it down. Good job, Hads. All right, Hads, now we flip over our paper, okay? And we're going to fold this corner up, and it doesn't have to go all the way up there. We're just going to go a little ways, okay? We'll fold that up like that, and then we'll crease down here at the bottom. Okay, and we fold it down. All right, now that we got that pressed down, we're going to flip over our paper, okay? And then we're going to fold it in half like that, okay? Now, we're going to come up here, and we're going to pull this leaf. This is the leaf, and this is the stem. So the longer piece is the stem. This is the leaf, and we're going to pull the leaf down, kind of like how we did the petals. So we can pull that down, and then we'll fold it like that. Okay, now that we got the leaf pointed out, we can press down and get that folded, and it looks really nice, huh? Yes. So our our stem is missing a flower, though, huh? Mm-hmm. Should we put the flower on? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, you get it, and you you can actually put it on the stem. So we're going to put the pointy part of the stem right where we blew into the flower, okay? Okay. All right. Yes, just like that. There you go. Keep going all the way until it hits the end. There we go, and then we can flip it over, and you got a nice little tulip, huh? Yeah. Is that pretty cute? Yeah. <laughs> you know what you can do, too, is you can actually open up the stem, and then it will stand, it should be able to stand up. You might have to work with it a little bit, but there you go, it's standing up. It's pretty cute, huh? <laughs> we should do a lot more of these, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yes, we could do different colors. What colors do you think we should do? Um, maybe yellow and yes. orange. Yellow and orange. That would be really pretty. What Red. else? Red. Red. Should we do a purple one? Yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> 
We hope you guys had a lot of fun folding your tulips with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.